Have you ever wanted to visit one of the nicest cities of Morocco but were not sure if it is worth it? Then keep on watching this video as I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Agadir to make sure that the vacation you have there is the most memorable one you ever had. In this video I will not only tell you which sites there are to see but I will give you also some food and restaurant recommendations as well as a hotel recommendation. So without further ado, let's start exploring Agadir together. Starting off is Agadir's nicest residential area, the Agadir Marina. Located right next to the beach, the marina is a nice and modern part of the city full of cafes and restaurants you can explore. On the hill overlooking the marina lies the Agadir Kaspa, which I'm going to talk about later on in the video. The Arabic words you can see on the hill mean God, Country and King, which is the national motto of Morocco. Next to the marina lies Agadir Beach. This beach has a total length of 12 kilometers and there you can do an array of different activities besides swimming, like playing volleyball, renting a jet ski and many more things. My first food recommendation is called tagine, which is the clay pot in which the food is prepared. You can choose the content of the tagine ranging from different kinds of meats, fish or vegetables. Another food recommendation is to try out a typical Moroccan breakfast consisting of salmon, which is a flatbread and harsha which is a typical Moroccan bread which you can eat with different spreads such as honey, olive oil, cheese or amlu which is kind of similar to Nutella in taste even though it is made out of almonds. I ate all this food at a restaurant called Haguita, which is located at the promenade and has good prices. Next up is one of the most impressive sites in Agadir, the Agadir Kasbah. To get there you can either take a taxi or a bus, but for the a more unique experience you can use Morocco's first and as of time of recording only cable car. The cost of the cable car is 220 dirhams, which is not that cheap, but in my opinion for the views you get definitely worth it. Once on top of the hill you can admire Agadir and with good weather conditions you can also see the surrounding countryside. Located on the top of the hill is the Agadir Kaspa, which means castle in Arabic. To visit it you have to pay an entry fee of 90 dirhams. The history of the place is very interesting, as the site used to be the old town of Agadir until 1960, when a devastating earthquake destroyed not only the old town but the entirety of Agadir. It is very impressive to think about the fact that from this small castle throughout the centuries the city of Agadir with its 800,000 inhabitants came to be. This castle was built in the 15th century by the Portuguese, who also built a small harbor to make the voyages throughout Africa safer. That until the Moroccan Saadi dynasty decided to conquer the castle in 1541 after a short lasting siege. In the following centuries Agadir remained an insignificant small town until the French ruled over Morocco from 1912 to till 1952 when they decided to expand the city. If you enjoyed this video so far and don't want to miss more content like this in the future then don't forget to subscribe. From all this visiting you will be definitely hungry so it is time for my next food recommendation. One of them is a soup called Harira which is a tomato soup with chickpeas in it and served with dates and dried figs.
No dinner in Morocco is complete without the iconic Moroccan minty, which you can see now how it is served traditionally. While Agadir does not have a defining signature dish, it is a very good place to eat fish and seafood, and this restaurant has the traditional dish called pastilla with seafood, while the traditional recipe is with a chicken filling. Another Moroccan dish you have to try is called fissa, which is cooked chicken with lentils on fried pieces of salmon, and optionally with a sauce made of different herbs. The restaurant I have eaten all of this is called al -Fasir. So now it is time for my hotel recommendation. The hotel is called Petit Palace Suites and offers you very nice and spacious apartments with big balconies. I like my stay there very much as the hotel is located near to the marina, the beach and the cable car to the castle. The price per night is 60 euros which for the room and location is a fair price. Just a couple of minutes from the hotel lies the Jardin Oliao, which is one of the nicest parks in town. The park is named after the Portuguese city of Oliao, as it is the twin city of Agadir. The best part is that it is completely free to visit. Next up is the Souk El Had. If you don't know what a souk is, you are probably more familiar with the Turkish word bazaar. In a souk you can generally find anything you want, from fruits and vegetables to clothes, jewelry and many more things. Souk El Had is the largest souk in town, having more than 6000 shops. While there, do not forget to haggle, as the sellers there will give you exaggerated prices, and even if you don't intend to buy anything there, I still think it is worth a visit, as most people who go there are locals, so you can immerse yourself in the Moroccan culture. While in the souk, buy yourself a fresh fruit juice, as they are cheap and refreshing. Just a couple of minutes from the souk lies the central mosque, which is also the largest in Agadir. Unfortunately, if you are not Muslim, you are prohibited to enter as it is customary in Morocco. The only exception being the Hassan II mosque in Casablanca. Either way, the mosque is also only open during prayer time. Another food recommendation is the previously mentioned Moroccan breakfast, but in this restaurant you also get served a soup called Khsua, which is made of barley grits and milk. This is the best Moroccan breakfast that I ate while in Agadir. Another food I can warmly recommend is the kafta tagine, which is a tagine filled with meatballs in a rich tomato sauce with peas and eggs. The restaurant where I ate all this food is called Lanis and is located on the second floor of the hotel Afud. Another beautiful park that you can visit for free is the Jardin Ibn Zaidun, which is located just a couple of minutes from the restaurant. One of the most interesting museums you have to visit while in Agadir is the Amazigh Heritage Museum. This museum showcases the culture and art of the Berbers who play an important role in Morocco, especially in Agadir as almost half of the city's 800,000 people are of Berber origin. While the museum is not that big, I really like the collection and for the price of 20 dirhams it is more than worth your time.
My last food recommendation is called Zaluk, which is a popular spread made out of cooked tomatoes, eggplants and garlic and is mostly eaten with bread. Another dish you have to try out is the seafood tagine. All these foods I ate at a restaurant called Al Walima. Last but definitely not least is my personal favorite site, La Medina. This museum was built by the Italian architect Coco Polizzi in 1992. Inside this open-air museum you can walk along the reconstructed buildings and be amazed by the beautiful Moroccan architecture. To get here you have to take a taxi as this museum is located a bit outside the city, but it is definitely worth it as the museum is really amazing and with the entry fee of only 40 dirhams making it also one of the cheapest attractions in Agadir. If you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to subscribe, like and hit the notification bell in order to not miss any of my future videos.